Right, hello everybody, welcome to um, round two of Blitz Pit. Um, it is Mankiz versus K Fog. Um, with me in the booth is Gorilla Mezzo. All right, we are already underway. No idea what the kickoff result was in this one. Folks, the Blitz Pit round two action. And uh, this is some winners. This is some winners bracket action. Both these teams victorious in their first round. Going head to head here. Classic matchup Orcs versus Woodies. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, I will be right back. Okay. So, yeah, if you bear with me, I've got to get the pictures here. Um, right. So, Mighty Blow. So, let's have a look, see what they've taken anyway. So, he's taken. Oh, so Mankiz has gone Orcs, and he is to. He's called BP10, but it's BP9. <laughs> he has taken he has taken tentacles on the troll, turning him into Beast of Nurgle, which is alright, isn't it? And Claw on a Mighty Blow Blitzer, so yeah. I mean, that's pretty standard, isn't it? I guess for Bash teams, the, the, the tentacles and the big guy and a Claw on, on a Blitzer. Pretty good idea, so he's got a Mighty Blow Tackler and a Mighty Blow Claw, so one for each occasion. Some guards, pretty nice team. Um, weaknesses, of course, having Orcs against the potential of Claw. Um, Kfog has already had a guy cast and a guy KO'd. He's got a two head, so he's, he's boosting the one turn here with his sidestepper. So he's so as I said, Wolfbark. I didn't like the fact that Wolfbark didn't have a sidestep guy. Um, we know with the opportunity to stack, Kfog has gone with the stacking with the two heads to make his one turn incredible. Um, and of course, he's gone with a tackle horns guy, and then he's got just a stripper. So I, I would imagine every Wood Elf team would have a tackle horns guy. Uh, it just makes you, you you blitz every turn it's super easy, doesn't it? Um, so there you go. Mankiz has missed a trick to, missed a trick here by not calling his team the Mankiz Meat Throttle. But <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Okay, let's see if... Yes, they are. There we go. We've got Mankiz and K-Fog. Alright. So there you go. Alright, everything's, everything's okay now. The Mankiz Meat Throttle. Um, yes, yeah, C-Subs, what happened was um, Rick Reckless had a sore throat one day so he asked people to fill in commentary for him, and uh, I randomly joined without being asked because I thought Dimmy had randomly joined without being asked, but he had actually asked Dimmy. But it was just when he joined, he was like, "Oh, Dimmy's here!" And it just like I just thought, well, someone said, "Oh, Dimmy's here," and I thought Dimmy had just randomly joined, so I just randomly joined, and then um, <laughs> there was a raid from. Uh, at some point, there was a raid from um, Mr. Page. <laughs> and, then, um, and at this point, Rick was getting battered all over by uh, Mankiz's chaos team. So uh, for some reason, Jack Bull was uh, so Jack Bull was also in the commentary. And for some reason, Jack Bull meted the raid with uh, "Welcome to the Mankiz Meat Throttle," <laughs> which was which was just oh, right then. It was just just an amazing uh, thing to say to somebody joining from a raid. I thought, and and you know, so did. So did everybody. I'll tell you more. I'll tell you more about my own meat throttling once we get to cover a regular game. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so yeah, K Fox really leaning on the one turn here, isn't he? He kept him the most protected out of all of his players that turn, and you know he's he's yep. dedicated two skills to the one turn. He's practiced them before. He he did one with a touchback in eight seconds. <laughs> so um so yeah he's really le leaning into the one turn here K Fog and I guess so you know he's probably going to dash on his offense or whatever um you know he's certainly going to try and play safe you know so he's got the chance for the one turns and stuff. So there you go. Jim what can you tell us about Mankis's ability to form a cage around the ball <laughs> Let me let me tell you um he's got guard on every cage corner making it perfect <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little overkill if you ask me, but it does the job. I mean, it isn't. He's, he's got a strength forward. Oh, no, there is horns there. Yeah, no. 
Ducky. He's also got. Yeah, I didn't actually see K Fog. Does does K Fog have the exact same team as Duck? No, no. He he's got the same basic team as uh, Wolf Bark. Ah, uh, Wolf Bark, I mean. But the same players, but yeah, he's skilled slightly differently. Yeah. He uh, he has gone a dodge leader thrower um, for the stacking. Hasn't stacked skills on the Lynels. Um And yeah, he's as I said, he's like leaned into this this. Uh, Leaned into this one turn with a sidestep and and two heads stacking. Um, yeah, I guess uh, in, in, the in the Discord yeah. there, I saw Wolf. Yeah. Yeah, they've they've got they basically have claws, don't they? Yeah. Like that's that's essentially what a Chaos Warrior looks like when he gets claws, and they start with it. All oh, the double ones. I oh, know he's away from tackle. Doesn't re-roll. Doesn't need to. <laughs> who's uh, who's covering that game? No reason. Mister Page, he, he said. Oh, he did. Oh. He said in the thing. Oh, Mr. P. Oh, I thought, yeah, okay, yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Oh man, that's a, that's a tough, that's a tough <laughs> contrast of faces to have to deal with. Though, <laughs> Buzzer looks like Buzzer looks like a, a shot for you know what's it called for uh, NFL in it when they have the when they have the team shots. <laughs> I mm -hmm. meant I meant Paige and Rancor. All right. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I didn't even know. That. <laughs> yeah. No, I was. I was not. Oh, oh my god! It, oh my god! I don't think I could watch. I don't think I could watch Mr. Page's stream of Regor because if one of those stupid fucking emojis went over <laughs> Regor's face, I'd put my fist through my monitor. <laughs> I didn't want to think about that. Good lord! Why mm. risk marring such perfection? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> man kiss. Oh yeah, man kiss also looks like one of those as well. But I, <laughs> but I was thinking Bazza really, really Bazza genuinely looks like a fucking NFL fucking linebacker or something. Well, my my school was the smartest and worst at football in the Big Ten, so I would say Rick Reckless looked more like what what our player cards would have been <laughs> for a college broadcast. <laughs> yeah, they always say that, don't they? The Ohio State University. Oh, oh my yeah, God! Fuck Ohio. Oh, fuck, fuck by the way, fuck Ohio State University. In case you're watching, <laughs> Ohio State University. Oh wow! Oh, 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 oh! He's got a, he's got a weak link. Oh, it's okay. He's got guards here and here. It's okay. We let we let monkeys off. <laughs> Got a little nervous there for a minute. <laughs> Going for the claw player. You can never be too careful about the claw as what else. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> that mighty blow might have might have something to say, although I don't think the mighty blow did a whole lot in the last game. So. Oh, he's running away and leaning on his one turn now, isn't he? Yeah, it sure is. Doesn't give a fuck about this first half. <laughs> yeah, three Kazes in, in the first four turns is brutal and lucky, isn't yeah. it? Like yeah, obviously sure is. you know, what's he called? Uh, Wolfbar got loads in one turn, but at least he had at least yeah. he had the first half of <laughs> numbers up yeah. at one stage. Where it's just but also Wolfbark's a lot of Wolfbark's attrition was in KOs, which didn't work out for him, but at <laughs> least you have that hope. Like, you yeah. know, Folk does not have a lot to look forward to with more removals. No, no, this is real hard. Like, that's the thing. The, the start of Wolfbark's went better, even though he had that horrible turn. This is just desperate from the start for Folk. Leaves him down, fair enough. The good thing that fog has got is that he can leave him down. Only 11 men for Mankiz. If he, uh, if he takes yeah. the fouls here, you know, it's a really good play at the foul. Not that good player because he's got sure hands. Um, Goliath, it's uh, three hundred and fifty dollars US in cash pool, but it's not all to the winner. I think it's spread out a little bit. I don't know the breakdown. Spread them. Mm, spread them. As the school said for the I'd, spre I'd, sp I'd spread them for uh, Regor's cash oh prize. <laughs> Oh, dear me. <laughs> 
I've, I don't think I've ever spoken to Rigor. <laughs> That's the best part of it. <laughs> the only thing I've ever said to Rigor is indirectly saying he was an Xbox coach. <laughs> <laughs> because I genuinely oh, thought he was. There, there must be an Xbox coach who's got a username similar. Because I genuinely believed he was an Xbox coach. But then obviously I was informed uh, that he wasn't. Rigor has the most beautiful face in Blood Bowl 2. Mango, he's uh, by far the prettiest coach. He's a coach from Portugal. And he's competing in the Blitz Pit tournament. Fighting for his life right now. We're all <laughs> pulling for him. He is in the loser's bracket. So hopefully he can uh, advance and uh, get something going here after a tough first loss, I assume. <laughs> Rick is a very nice dude, but he does not have the sex appeal and raw charisma and beauty of Regor. <laughs> so just shut up with that bullshit. <laughs> Well, Jim, Jim can put it on your screen. <laughs> I can put it on But we've screen. got a game to cover here. <laughs> uh, if you go into the Blitz Pit Discord, I'm sure it's posted in there somewhere for uh, one of the player cards for him. To be fair to Skuro, uh, he just he did say just he did just say prettiest coach. I said in Blood, in Blood Bowl. Bowl. Yeah, yeah, not, not, not yeah. in the world. <laughs> if Tom Brady played Blood Bowl, first of all, he'd be better at it than any of us. Uh, <laughs> but uh, if he did play Blood Bowl. I would probably look at a picture of Ragor while I was jerking off Tom Brady. Oh my I think God. that's where anyway, I think that's about where we'd have to sit. If if Tom Brady played Blood Bowl too, he'd win every season like of I Chaos keep, Squad. Look, shut up. I, I if if pick, Tom Brady I, this is really good, let me say it. If Tom Brady <laughs> played Blood Bowl too, he'd win every he'd win CCL every season with Chaos Dwarves and people would just say he was a system coach. <laughs> 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 Until at the age of 40, um, he'd, swi he'd switch to Pro Elves and win it again. <laughs> and then there'd be no doubt. Keep, <laughs> He's the I'd greatest of all wallet, time. I'd keep a wallet picture of Regor in my in you know in my back pocket, but I'd, I'd be dancing with Tom. I mean, how do you not go for the goat? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, I mean, uh, Artemis, no offense to you. I've seen your emoji face, but uh, there's no competition. <laughs> it's just Regor and everyone else. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, Art does look like... Someone uh... ban Pedro. Someone ban Pedro. <laughs> Someone ban Pedro. Pedro <laughs> alert. Ban Pedro. <laughs> um, Art looks like... Art looks like Liberace. <laughs> She's pretty amazing. <laughs> pretty amazing. <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm the only qualified one, though. I am a professional photographer. I know what looks good, Jay Bazza. <laughs> Screw is the only judge yet. <laughs> That's true. Oh, there's another one. Mm -hmm. oh my God. <laughs> This is a Dyson. Has he got an apple? Yeah, I was going to say he'll use the apple if he's got it, and he does. Wow, brutal stuff from K4. From, well, brutal from Man Caves, brutal for K4. I like getting the tents on the dancer. I, would, wouldn't, foul, I wouldn't foul him here. I think it's not worth... Uh, I guess it is. I guess it's not worth going out of 10 men, but he's down to 8. You can still lose 8 versus 10 quite easily. So, <laughs> I think I probably wouldn't foul him. <laughs> That part's just a hobby, Mama B. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I've got no idea what makes a handsome looking man, to be honest. There's really only there's really only two men that I've thought they're really handsome. One was one was this dude at the Royal Mail and uh, and the other is Henry Cavill. And they're the only two men I've thought uh, handsome, to be honest. Ge generally, uh, so there's two good ways to gauge it. And I won't go too long into this. We got a Blood Bowl game to capture. But uh, first one is just facial symmetry, kind of knowing like what balances where on the face. And the other one is how erect you get when you look at them. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, zero, you see. That's, the, that's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's what makes it difficult for me. <laughs> 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 and like even then like it's not that i think sean connery and brad pitt and george clooney are handsome it's just that when i saw somebody who looked like a composite of all of them 
<laughs> I was like, okay, he's he's definitely the most handsome man in the world then. <laughs> and he works at fucking he worked at Royal Mail in fucking Darlow. <laughs> what a waste. So uh, K Fog making a bit of a play on the towards the ball here. Not much to talk about it's, as he's been solid. Yeah, removed. it seems like he changed his mind on completely abandoning it. Oh wow, he's made his cage worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Nah, no, it doesn't matter actually, does it? But it, it make it's possible to to get somebody in now and make it a one D. Because he has guards on here, so it's the the thing that was wrong with Ducky's cage was that Ducky didn't have the guards back here. All well, the guards here, it, it actually does work, doesn't it? This cage. But it doesn't matter because he could have just not had him in. I guess having him in makes the uh, recovery harder. Goes for the loner hit. Skulls out, and now the strip ball is there. The horns is there. See, so, yeah, actually, the guards. He could, I mean, K-Fog could just go for, like, this This dodge character could go for the, the 5 plus dodge in to cancel that guy, and then he could go for a 1 dude. He genuinely could. Yeah, he's not. He's, he's just not going for the reds. In. Who's he hitting? I don't know. Yeah, he's leaping in. He's going for the reds. I don't like that. I think if you're going to do that, you might as well dodge, dodge into the and, cage here. And re-rolls it. Wow. I assume he's going to 3 plus, 2 plus out here. I, I don't genuinely... He's got not, not got the movement of 3 plus, 2 plus out. I genuinely don't oh. think that from KFOG. Oh, Jesus, he's going to get well. surfed. Yeah, he's getting yeah. surfed as well. Uh, it's possible that PC has given up on this game already. <laughs> Just yeah. said, fuck it, if I can get the ball loose, maybe something good will happen. Oh. <laughs> he's not surfing him. Oh, he's getting my ball hit in. I guess it's safe, yeah. right? But Basically, still. like surfing him. Oh, yep. Just, he surfed him, <laughs> effectively. Yeah. I would have gone for the 3D first, with a you know, and then and then the 2D, and then and then surf or hit somebody else. Oh, did one of us call K Fog PC again? Uh, <laughs> no, no, I think Probably. he was just uh, Skuro just mentioned PC, but uh, I thought he was actually talking about PC. Like, actually yeah, PC. I do that. I do that all the time. Yeah. All right, you were I, actually I talking about K Fog. K Fog streaming his own game, is he? Or you just said that I didn't say that you. I I thought you actually said like. PCs I called. If, right, yeah, I called just, PTK PC by right, accident. Right, and you I just said he's just said this, but he hasn't said it because he's not streaming. You just said he said it, right? Okay. No, okay. J Baz J Baza said it in your chat. Yeah, I know, but you said PC's just saying fuck it. If I get the ball loose here, something can happen. And I thought you meant. Oh you yeah, yeah, said yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I was thought talking. You I was talking. <laughs> Yeah, you you were just saying that he's saying that, Ooh, right. What a roller coaster Ooh. that, that Ooh. was! Oh boy! Oh, my goodness. That was more interesting than the match. That one was. Yeah. <laughs> that was certainly more interesting than the match. <laughs> we are at 100 percent dicing so far. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> but um, there's five players. So this is going to be tricky for K-Folk. He has done it in eight seconds in practice. So... Jay Bazzi, you, you clearly hadn't listened to the ten minutes previous to that <laughs> if you thought you were disrupting the commentary. Yeah, there's been literally no talk of the game in this one. <laughs> <laughs> there hasn't been a game to talk about. No, no. Just, before we even got there, there'd been, a, there'd been a removal. The second we got there was the second removal. And then shortly after was the third and fourth, and that was, you know, drive over. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we'll here's the only way that uh, that uh, PTK, k -folk, if you will, <laughs> can turn it around is a uh, miracle one turn here. And yeah. uh, I don't see it. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah. boy. This is exactly the defense he's yeah, been practicing fair. against. Yeah, he's only got fair. five players, but it's easy to get the it's easy to get them in if he gets the, uh, you know, if he gets the hit. That's the, pro the problem is in being strength four, yeah. right? And he doesn't yeah. have his horns dancer, so the hard thing is just rolling the pushes. He he definitely knows what to do. 
It's just getting the pushes is really hard. Yeah. Like I, I more meant the dice involved to get through the column and score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> but at least he knows what he's doing. You know, some people yeah, don't yeah, know yeah. how to do this. Yeah. At least, at least yeah. uh, Kfog knows exactly what to do, and he can he can do this totally easily. Yeah, it was all about Regor after the second removal. Yeah, it, it just got killed instantly. Like, just instantly, the, the half was over. The game's not over, you know? 8 versus 10 in the second half. No, certainly not, yeah. And sorry, 8 versus 11, he didn't get sent off. <laughs> I expected the send off from the foul. <laughs> but um, 8 versus 11, you know, maybe if he gets lucky, chips someone. 8 versus 10, second half, very doable. Here we go. Manageable kick. Yep. Maybe you just do the pass first. You can't, you can't die on the pass. <laughs> but then if you push him, it makes it easier. So maybe you just do the blitz first. Oh, his plan was to dodge away from tentacles. Um, what was that? There you go. I guess he needed everyone else in the, in the other places. Oh, uh, interesting. Okay, well that was short and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you want to talk about how he was prepared for that exact formation? <laughs> a little more while I let my dog in. Yeah, maybe he should have put the thrower on the LOS, and then he could have hoped for a touchback. That might have been the... But he could have just started here, couldn't he? One, two, three, four... Yeah, but he, I guess he should have started there, and then gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI. I <laughs> could win best clip, yeah, it could, couldn't it? <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Honestly, Kfog, he's the best one-turner in the world. <laughs> he's been practicing them. He knew exactly what to do against that setup. Except when he did that setup, he didn't have a strength five tentacles. <laughs> yeah. Standing there. So, yeah. Oh, this is uh, this is gonna be one hell of a story for P PTK to tell when he wins it and advances. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes another elf. <laughs> yeah, Jim Basil, yeah. Oh no, just just a stun. Just a stun. <laughs> oh god. This is hard, isn't it? What does he do? What does he even do here? I. Uh, I think he's gonna just red dice blitz through the black orc and one day, sideline yeah. cage. One day he's got horns, sideline cage. Oh yeah, one day, one day, yep. Fucking horns. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that. God, he's he's on oh, the roll everything as well. Jesus, he, like he's rolled two ones already this turn. <laughs> yeah. He's rolled a one on the wake up. He's rolled a one on the catch, and he's rolled a one on the dodge. Bloody hell. And he rolls a one on the GFI as well. <laughs> Fucking hell. And there's the actual reroll used. <laughs> Jesus <Wow>. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we thought we were going to commentate on Ducky versus Dio? <laughs> Andy rolled. Uh, yeah, Andy rolled another one on the dodge and the one on the GFI. My God. Speaking of, Ducky Dio right now, 0 0 on turn six somehow. And uh, a war dancer, this will surprise you, is about to get gang foul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, interestingly, Ducky's game against Dio looks exactly like Ducky's game against Wolfbark in terms of where everyone is on the board. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yep. Hey, what do you know? Uh, it's stunned, but not removed uh, by the ref for that foul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Another one gone. That's the bad thing when you've got a cage with blitz, a uh, cage with yeah. dancers, isn't it? This mighty bow tackler has just had his life, hasn't he? Well. 
This was a good match, wasn't it? Mm, well, <laughs> I had fun in the 30 minutes we've been commentating on this match. Yeah, in the 30 minutes. I don't know that Regor. I would relate it to Blood Bowl. <laughs> the 30 minute chat about Regor and Tom Brady has been wonderful. <laughs> Shame there wasn't a blood. I mean, this is that. I mean, that's prime. That's prime Skuro turf right there. <laughs> Has he got the double GFI? Oh, baby, he makes it. Oh, he does. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what? Five plus handoff to the dancer and dodge away at this point? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. A four person. Yep. Rose oh, yeah. Yeah. Rose another one! <laughs> I made it! Oh no, it was tackle. It was yeah, tackle. tackle. Yeah. Alright, he's in. Two re -rolls It's a used. tie game, folks. Anyone's game going into the final stretch. Vazacastine, the war dancer, celebrating in the end zone. And oh baby, Blood Bowl is back. <laughs> Imagine having to roll. Two two pluses without a re-roll to score and failing them both, and then also <laughs> another two plus that you have that you would really really like to have made without a re-roll and rolling a one on that as well. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, but he, he made a hundred percent of his KO rolls there. <laughs> yeah, and he did make the four plus catch to be fair. But so yeah, there you go, short kick, short kick blitz. Yeah. Oh, won't really help. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, he's pretty much fucked. He's pretty much up shit creek without a paddle. Indeed. And the loser of this game will go into the loser's bracket round two. And we'll face either Dwarves or Wood Elves. That's Wolf Barker, Unseen Walker, whoever wins their game. Yep. <laughs> and then, yeah, this is winners, isn't it? K-Fog and Man are the winners bracket. Yeah, this is the winners bracket. So this is not for elimination from the tournament. They are still in it. Yep. Well, that is not a short kick blitz. No. <laughs> the, basically the opposite. It's the best thing he could have get to shore up his drives. <laughs> Moving his but carrier underneath it. <sighs> Bit of a dodgy follow up there. Uh, he doesn't get the quads after, so he's all right. But uh, you know that could have that could have let let K Fog in. But, you know, obviously the slightest chance. But hey, that's that's all that's all K Fog has right now, isn't it? Is the slightest chance. Luckily, uh, Muppet, K-Fog isn't one of those guys that strikes me as needing a lot of, like, mental relaxation in Blood Bowl. He seems like he can just kind of grind out games at a bad tournament. Okay. But uh, the answer to your question is turn four of this game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Like it came pretty late for Wolf Bark that point, but I think it came pretty it came, yeah. it came earlier for K Fog. Like I, I don't know, I think you'd yeah. still fight, you'd still battle and fight, but I think now is is pretty much it's not over, it's not over. Like seven men is enough to win. So At no. the end of the day, I, I think you could say if the dice completely reverse, K Fog could win this game. Yeah. So that's enough to keep playing, but yeah. it it's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's realistically there's not enough chance. But seeing as there's not no chance, you can't go. Yeah. I mean, we've all played a game of Blood Bowl where we got absolutely diced out of the first half and then it just completely turned around on you. Yep. Sometimes you win those, and when you have Wood Elves, you win those more often than uh, other teams. Yep, and he's got a 1D on the ball straight away, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's, he's, gone to, he's gone to the ducky school of not caging properly. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting uh, cancelling the uh, guard there. <laughs> yeah, I guess he just had to move him out of the way, right? He had to move him out of the way yeah. to get this hit. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. He just put him there. He's in. He's got the 1D up. Okay, we can add that to our man kisses card. Struggles with cages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got him. He's, he's oh, been gym. Oh, God. And the ball 
retrievable. There's three elves that can get over there. Oh, incredible. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and this one would not be the uh, win state that I had described of uh, having the dice turn it around. That is... Oh! Oh, well, never mind. In need of the dice to not be completely <laughs> terrible. <laughs> but he rolled a double. Yeah, that one that one was completely on Mancus's plate. He had no one to blame for it but himself for that. And uh, that wasn't good enough. Yep. What a twist of fate. Okay, folks, got to be a little frustrated by that. And here comes a removal. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> never in doubt when I saw the animation. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jeebus. Yeah, uh, dude, you're a dud just coming back in. K Fog uh, two turned it and scored, but he. And he got a 1D on the ball, but then snaked the dodge to get, you know, a player to retrieve said ball, and here we are. Yeah. Uh, why cut the corner? Uh, I mean, he, he couldn't not, right? Because he wanted to move the catcher last, so it would take him, he would have to go miles around the outside. So he had to cut the corner. It's only one in thirty-six, isn't it? Yeah. He hasn't failed a single one in thirty-six this game. <laughs> yeah, but no, I I agree with you. <laughs> I think yeah. I I didn't I didn't count squares, but I feel like he knew where he needed his players to be to protect the ball if he was able to pick it up. But yeah. They're not, but there's sure hands there to pick it up, and now he's gonna lose his ward answer. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> oh, baby! Dragor in a tie game! Bit sloppy here. He could have moved this, he could have moved this black oak back first. Mm. Um, and then move, then move. You see, so where this guy's just moved to, he could have moved the, the, the front black oak back there. And then that black hole to there before he went for the pickup would have made the whole thing yep. more solid if he if he'd wanted nine to pick up. Again, you know that's very. <laughs> he's got one second left. Yeah, one, minute long turns. One minute turns oh, can cause turn. that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a slight on man kids. Just a just a little tip. Just the tip if you're uh, if you're watching it on <laughs> be a little bit better at blood ball. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing joke. <Jim, isn't it? laughs> Amazing. Oh dear. Oh, I assume they probably want like the top tier game, like the highest seed game on the Blitz Pit channel. Yeah. That's probably why they bumped this down. Yeah, that makes I sense. I guess they did, but it, I think it would be better to stick in. Uh... Yeah, no, I get, I get what you're saying too, but I understand, like, from a production standpoint. Yes, if I was in charge, I'd want all the best games as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know, they do a lot of wrangling to get it together. Although they aren't even close to the top of the view numbers. Yeah. So. I mean, it's, it's fair enough. Like, it is what I do, but I do think it, it, like it's better for, it's better to like watch. It's it's six and two threes, right? Because going both ways. If you, the more people you see, then it spreads it about a bit, and yeah. then people get to see the different teams and what have you, no, rather than just watching. I mean, like, so I'm, I'm not I, I, sure. I agree with I I vastly agree with your mentality. I know that like in America during the NFL season, there's some people that watch football by watching what we call the, I don't know if you guys have it the Red Zone Channel, which just shows you constant highlights from all the games in action, so you can kind of keep track of everything. Right. And I just cannot enjoy doing that. I only like watching a full game of football, even if I'm not as invested in those two teams as other teams that could be playing if I if they're not on, you know? Yeah. I'd rather just focus on one team and watch them go the whole way. And yeah. I'd love to go the whole way if that one team was Regor. <laughs> God. Yeah. But you know what I mean, though? It's like, but it's 6 and 2 because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in one, yeah. on one, on one way, by doing it this way, you do get to see k and Mankis, two different teams, whereas if we'd done... Ducky versus Dio, then it would be Budels versus Bretts again, and you'd just be seeing the, the, seeing the same Brett team over and over again. But then on the other hand, you would then see that progression through the tourney. So, like, it's. I don't know which is better for what people on YouTube would like. I guess you could ask people on YouTube. Because obviously, people on Twitch can just switch and watch whatever they want. So, it's, it's yeah, perfect. I've got, I, I'm commentating a game, and I've got four tabs open. Yeah, and exactly. uh, Mengel, that's uh, too soon, my friend. Too soon. <laughs> oh, dear. So yeah, so that, that's that's all I was thinking of, which was just the YouTube, really. Which I don't know which would be better for YouTube's. Yeah, yeah, I get you. But, um, 
Also, also a very good point, Muppet, yeah. But anyway, we don't need to criticize yeah. the management of this tournament. We all love this tournament. Yes. It's by far the best tournament run yes. in yeah, Blood Bowl yeah, 2. Yeah, yeah. Not, without, not without question. Yeah. <laughs> we just maybe would have preferred to watch uh, Dio versus Ducky instead of this abomination. Yeah, no, exactly. obviously the fact that this has turned out to be absolute garbage hasn't helped. But, um... No. But then it is, like, as I am torn, it's not as if, like, it's just definitely... Right. Yeah, the, the game starting at a different time is a thing. I guess people should have been held back from starting, right? I guess I guess people should have been held back from starting, but then that takes a lot more coordination. So, so that's not great. But, yeah, I guess I guess that's the thing, right? If you, if you just follow somebody. That could have been the way it would have been. Oh, oh cheeky asshole. Oh, my God. Five plus dodge in, double red D breaks I'm over KO. Oh, K-Fog, the dice lord, can't say that this game. Oh, nice, uh, <laughs> nice apo there to block the <laughs> Shame that everyone else, ball. like, he stood him up. He just shouldn't have stood him up, should he? Yeah. Uh, that was a real bad stand-up. Real bad stand-up from K-Fog. Like, that was really Well, he does bad. have sidestep on the ball there. Yeah, but he loves yeah. tackle yeah, my right, ball 3D, but that was a really bad, really bad stand-up. Because, okay, your only chance is a 5 plus a double up. Like, you know, five, 5 plus uphill for a power was your only play. But if it works, if it fails, standing him up doesn't do anything. And if it works, standing him up doesn't do anything. So... And what a play that could have been oh. if he hadn't stood up. The catcher could have just run all the way back out here, couldn't he? And he could yep. have lobbed it too many to have been safe. Like, if everything had worked. But... Well, he survived. The, it was, he didn't make it 3D. Elves. Yeah, he didn't make it 3D. Got a reroll out, too. It wasn't that easy making 3D. You'd have had to have done a, a 2D with a back up first, which he didn't want to do, I guess. Whereas now he gets a 3D. So I guess now standing him up first looks pretty good because now there is there is some threat next turn after that just being a push. Mm -hmm. And the removal, but you know, and then removal of the apple. Well, it was a removal of the apple. Only gets the push. K-Fog's making a game of it, isn't he, with four players on the field? <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. Now he gets the 3D, gets the power. Should he have maybe scattered that ball? No, I guess it gives him a chance to catch it. Yeah, the, the chance of you getting the absolute perfect scatter to like a stand yeah, 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 yeah. is much less than the chance that he just catches it on a 4 plus. Yeah, true. <laughs> like he just, like he gets with his troll activation. Look at dog. No, oh, I like that. I like this chain here. <laughs> Yeah. 3D and gets in the chain for the for the chance of a catch. Oh, okay, it doesn't it doesn't chain him. <laughs> uh, but I would have really liked it to to have gone there and scatter it because then, you know, you might catch it and you might get the uh, pick up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> little shimmy shake there. Yeah, he realised he didn't he didn't like getting uphill. Yeah. This is horrible. He's going in a much worse yeah. position. Oh, you saw I like them. I like them inside. Yeah. Oh, oh tense. <laughs> yeah. So actually, this is pretty great, isn't it? He can't, he can't try two tentacles rolls. And he can't really try a 5-3-2. I guess he could try the 5-3-2. I could just try the tentacles. Screw it. Yeah. He's better with a 4-up, 2-up, isn't he? From the, from the wrestler? From the oh, wrestler. that's against... Tackle on the two plus. Uh, oh, he doesn't have to dodge anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, right. Can you get around that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. Yeah. It's a long way, but he could. Yeah. This might be better, actually, this red D. Oh, yeah, uphill. Yeah, that's. that's oh, not the follow, though. Oh, no, no, no. Don't like that, though. No. Oh, yeah. Let's just fucking do it. No, he didn't like the follow, but he's he, got him. He got through. <laughs> he got Man, through. I got him. And now this guy is the recovery. Yep. He can actually go through the 3 plus instead of that 4 plus now. Yep. He no, he can't. <laughs> <laughs>
fails anyway. He might get overtime here with no players. <laughs> yeah, that would be a hell of a way to save this game for him. <laughs> trying to desperately just trying to to win it 2-1, gets overtime, wins the toss. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, and like he literally could come with a sidestepper. The side sidestepper yeah. could just yeah. bez down the yeah. sideline, get a sideline cage, even with only five players on something on the field. It's possible. No results in yet. On the challenge page, Ducky here. Uh, looks like uh, he's got a. He's gonna <laughs> probably go to overtime in there. Ooh, down to one reroll. Oh! oh! I was watching. I was watching your stream on delay by accident. <laughs> <laughs> like that, you know, there is a chance there. You know, that, that's another reroll gone, isn't it? There's a chance. He's only down one reroll. Okay, folks, only down to four players. <laughs> <laughs> Which one will break first? Yeah. Oh, I didn't like that. I think if you're gonna go there, then uh, oh, I think that's really bad. Really bad. You can be one square up, then he gets the two plus troll activation, yeah, which then tags both elves, means. and then you can punch mm -hmm. one to keep him on the troll as well. So now you, you could have got knock two. Him down into the troll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now, now, now the troll's only on one person and doesn't activate. I'd have rather activated him and got him. I guess he doesn't need to be on two because he's still. But still, you can go there for the eye cage. No. Probably Did that matter. wrestler get around in reasonable fashion? Not really. Yeah. Just make a bunch of three pluses without a reroll, I guess. Yep. Stone against Woody's. I can't see happening, Tonshin. Is the halflings are basically got absolutely zero chance to Oh, breaks tentacles. And yeah, now there's no buddy for the troll there. Yeah, he's gonna like that was that was Need honestly, I'd really hate this guy. He could have yeah. been down here. Why, why give him the wandy? Like he got him, him again. Yeah. This is gonna be really hard for the orcs to score, if not basically, not impossible. But uh, doesn't get the ball in hand. But that ball is a long way from being uh, a sure thing to hand off and score with. Yeah, I mean, I think we're seeing. I think we are seeing. Like, I mean, these are all good coaches, you know. I think we are seeing some little positional mistakes, maybe a little bit of a lack of foresight. That one minute turn does really hamper some of that stuff. That's true, yeah. Especially when you're like fighting for your life to score at all, just to win, <laughs> and not have to coin flip it against Wood Elves with one of the best players on the planet, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> And the, the tackler that he wants to blitz with was his scoring threat, right? So now yeah. he probably should move the yeah, claw the guy up. Yeah, yeah tense, tense on that guy. Oh, he's rolled a one. <laughs> Effectively really stupiding two players there because he had to bring someone over yeah. to wake him up at all. It didn't work. Yeah, so now the question is, can you afford to bring back the tackler to hit the dodger? Maybe you just have. I to mean, you have him. to three die. You have to three die that guy because you're going to lose the game if you don't. Yeah. So, like, but can you afford only one scoring threat? That's the question. Mm, I guess, he, that's, I guess oh, he's going none to. of this is good. Okay, At least he, he doesn't have sidestep, and he gets him. He he would have got the knockdown with a with a just a normal guard hit as well. Yeah. Funnily enough, so I think maybe the play was to hit blitz him with him, and then have two scoring threats. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fair point, Artemis, yeah. Is he going to get him into scoring? Wow. Yeah, he is. So he's got two wow. scoring threats. I don't like the GFI. Maybe he didn't know it was a GFI, to be fair. Doesn't get the ball with the sure hands, the one and nine. 
Maybe it's a There's a message. shot here for the elves. Maybe it wasn't a GFI. Maybe that was just a cyanide pathing making an extra GFI for no reason. I'm not sure. Uh, because I don't think you'd make the GFI anything. before you try to pick it up, would you? Well, that, that, that could have been a, just a terrible cyanide pathing. Does it sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> yep. Just makes you, like, not dodge past your own players. <laughs> this is a very tough score. It's tough enough that if I were PTK, I'd be thinking about trying to win it. I know that's probably not the right call, <laughs> but... I mean, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter what you think when you roll the wall. another dodge, why not? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. doesn't matter what you think when well. your first dice rolls a one again. <laughs> oh, dear me. 3D him, might as well. He's got block as well. There you go. And he can 3D? No, I guess you don't. Oh, you can. No. Can you 3D? No, you can't 3D. He's got 2D with block, and it 2D with block is better than 3D without. But he's blocked his path there? Oh, that was horrible. Oh, no, he can blitz. No, he's gone in the wrong way. He's blitzed the wrong direction. Oh, this is shit. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, he dear. he could just from the other direction, couldn't he? He's it... got to be nerves. Yeah. So he can still just make an extra GFI. Yeah. It's not that terrible, but... <laughs> yeah, the harder part here is this pass. Yeah. Oh. Oh, doesn't need a Mr. Throw. Oh, ah! does he reroll? He here does. It is for the win. Oh, it's not for the win. Oh, he's, he's got a double six. GFI instead of one. Oh, man, if he rolls a one on the second GFI. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh, he gets Look it. it. He gets it. Wowie. A, a few mistakes there, but given how the game went, the right coach winning it, but it uh, doesn't feel too good if you're BTK. <laughs> no. No, that was... Uh, that was awful for... Fog, wasn't it? He got he got diced to oblivion, really. But then he, you know, it's some of the low risk, some of the low low chance things paid off. But again, Mankiz should have put his foot down and not allowed them, shouldn't he? So, you know, the, the chances that that Kfog got that worked were on Mankiz for letting him have them. And yes, it's only one minute turns, and you know, it's not not really getting down on him too hard. So, congrats to Mankiz, commiserations, PTK. Thank you very much for Skuro Metso for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious as ever. And uh, thanks Do we have happening. an update on Regger versus Baz a cast team? Because the winner of that plays Rick Reckless, and oh baby, what a game <laughs> if that's Regor. No offense, I've, Baz. I've got no idea. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.